okay so the next station anyone else who would like to take up if is there anyone else who would like to take up the next station then i think dr ruchi are you okay yes ma'am i'll take them okay just a second i'll okay start Can I start now? Your ten minutes starts now. Okay. Hello, I'm Dr. Ruchi, one of the doctors in the clinic today. May I confirm your name and age, please? Hello, doctor. I'm Alice Kumasi, and I'm twenty-five years old. How may I address you? You can call me Alice. Okay, Alice. As I can see, you have been here being referred by your GP. Can you? Uh, and I have gone through your GP notes. Can you tell me more about what happened to, uh, at your GP practice? Yeah, actually, doctor. See, I had just delivered here six weeks back, a boy, and I was really happy when I went home. It was a normal delivery, you see. But uh, after I go went home. Um, after I was okay for a few days, but then when my husband wanted to get. Uh, physically um, we wanted to get intimate i started to have anxiety and i just when he was trying to enter i had so much pain and i stopped him and uh, it's been a few days that he's been trying and i'm not ready to because i am very scared right now that pain was too much i'm so sorry to hear that alice but we are here to support you uh, can you tell me more about your pain yeah actually uh, when uh, it was not there actually i had stitches down below but uh, they had healed and i was okay there was no pain at all but uh, one week before when we tried to get intimate and he was trying to enter it was so painful i couldn't uh, allow him further at all uh, is it relieving with something oh uh, it uh, i just didn't use anything because after that it was gone 
it was only when he tried to get inside okay as you said this might be more at the site of the cut you had uh, you had at the time of delivery is that so uh can you tell me more about your delivery yeah it was actually a normal delivery means a vaginal delivery and uh, uh there was a small cut that the midwife said and she sewed it up well and uh, the healing is good and i have worked here in the hospital itself and uh, i had checked also after two weeks of my delivery and the stitches were all gone and it was okay i had washed myself everything was fine how's your baby oh uh, baby is doing good uh he's uh, taking my milk and she he's breastfeeding so all good okay uh as you can as you are saying uh, the pain is more during the entry of the intercourse uh, uh have you noticed any bleeding at that time no there was no bleeding but i couldn't allow it was such a big pain that i had any discharge from down below <laughs> no it is okay in discharge for the initial two weeks which the doctor had already said to me initially reddish then brownish then it went any itching no okay how it affects your quality of life uh the quality of life i'm okay all good uh, how's your support from your partner oh he is very supportive throughout pregnancy he has been very supportive and when did you have your last periods after the delivery well after my delivery the bleeding that happened for two weeks and now till now i am yet to have a proper period uh do you using any contraceptive method right now uh he used my husband used a condom at that time okay and any problem with your water works and bowel no they are fine any medical history that concerns you no uh i am perfectly all right i have been all right other than this uh delivery i had no other issues before any previous surgery from uh, tummy or down below no any family history that concerns you no uh any drug allergies no not that i know of uh are you aware about your weight and height ratio yeah it's 23 okay do you smoke no i'm taking any alcohol oh i used to but with pregnancy i have stopped and pardon me to ask do you take any kind of recreational drug no uh and uh, you might find it uh, some interesting question but you have any sexually shared infection before it was very initially like 10 5 10 year 5 to 6 years back but that was treated okay are you up to date with your cervical smears yeah okay thanks for sharing your information and uh, do you, uh, do you feel any down or depressed from the last couple of weeks anything like that no after the delivery i was very happy but with this last one week has been very depressing for me okay if you allow me i would like to examine you uh, from the down below by a one finger examination is it okay for you yeah yeah sure doctor okay uh, by doing the one finger examination which might be help me to give a clue and it would be done under lo local anesthesia so don't worry about the pain okay uh, okay alice yeah sure uh so coming to your uh, management uh so which involve a multidisciplinary team as you have a painful uh, intercourse it may be due to the painful scar tissue at the uh, at the vaginal entrance am i clear so far alice okay so uh when is it done about this doctor will i not be able to have a proper sexual life no don't worry about that we are here to help you alice <coughs> and what happened whenever the cut has been given in the uh, into the vaginal below dive, uh, down uh, down it may entrap the nerves after the child birth and uh, sometimes there is no identifiable identifiable cause will be found but uh, uh, but uh, don't worry there is a uh, there uh, we are here to support you and provide you the treatment for that some women may be help find helpful by just giving a pain uh, painkiller me uh, painkiller medications pain relieving re relieving medication like paracetamol or the codeine and sometime uh, and we advise you to uh, avoid any irritable uh, irritable uh, 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 applications like the soap or any perfumes or cream or ointments over there 
and whenever the patient was finding out, whenever the women who are finding out uh, difficult during the having the sex, we we usually ask to apply some topical agents like to the numb that area at the time of the intercourse. Am I clear so far, uh, Alice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, these local uh, anesthetic will help you to numb that area so that you can facilitate uh, with your uh, sexual intercourse and advise for the longer for foreplay before the act. And whenever and sometimes uh, uh, some women may find out the pelvic relaxation exercises, which has been advised with the help of the physiotherapist. So we can uh, some uh, so we can refer you with the physiotherapist. Okay. And uh, the uh, other option is like that. You can try yourself with the help of the perineal massage so that the scar mobilization can be done, which has been done with the help of the two uh, the thumb and the two finger, which will be shown by the midwives to you. Okay, uh, okay, Alice. Yeah. Okay. And you also have to avoid uh, any uh, avoid any type of constipation because that can also help to uh, cause the pain at the time of the intercourse. Uh, and sometimes, if all these won't happen, uh, help to you, it might require a, some scar modification surgery called the phantom surgeries, which can be done under the local uh, uh, lo by putting the area the numbness by the uh, uh, doctor of the sleep, uh, the sleep doctor can put the area that numb or uh, or just by the local application of the uh, uh, numbing medications. And it is just in daycare uh, daycare procedure in which uh, the refreshing of the scar tissue may be required. Am I clear so far, Alice? All right, doctor. Again, another surgery. Uh, it is just a daycare surgery, which is not uh, last long. It is just for the five or ten minutes, just for the mobilization, so that area which is being tightened up because of the scar can be mobilized. Uh, uh, so you won't feel the pain uh, further. Okay, Alice. Okay, doctor. Is there any other concern? Would you like to address me today? I just want to know that what if this persists and uh, I'm worried about my husband and uh, it's just the beginning. If this persists, I'm really scared now. Uh, uh, don't worry, Mayor, for that, uh, we will refer you to the counselor so they can you can talk about that. So both you and your partner will be advisable to uh, to follow up with us as, as uh, psychosexual counselors that it will going to help you. Uh, okay, doctor. Uh, okay, now I uh, whatever I will. Is there any other concern? Would you like to address me now? No, doctor. That's okay. that is okay. Thank you. Uh, now I will provide you all the information uh, in the form of the written information leaflet. I will refer you with the psychosexual counselor and book an appointment with my consultant and refer you to the World World Clinic. So can you can uh, have a uh, uh, have a look uh, uh, look over there and advise you uh, uh, advise you all uh, this multidisciplinary team uh, uh, so that uh, so that you can have a uh, you can have a go through with all the information leaflets and can have a, a look uh, and uh, decide what what treatment you want to go through. Is it clear so far, uh, Alice? Okay, doctor. Thank you uh, so much for your time, uh, Alice. Thank you, doctor. Well, you finished in time because I started 10 seconds later. It was okay. a very well attempted station. Thank you so much. And mm -hmm. where do you think you went? Uh, was there anything you missed? In the end part, like the closing of the station, I felt a little bit uh, should be improved. Uh, one thing important here was the support group. You said about psychosexual counselor, but a support group, just mention a support group. The support group. Also. Yeah. Okay. And beginning of the station, whenever you meet a postpartum woman, just remember any woman who has delivered and she's stable, right? It is not a very serious, like very yeah. ill always ask uh, so i see that you've delivered how is the baby doing have you named the baby this is one or two lines they hello yes i'm listening ma'am yeah so first two to three lines like any postpartum women or like a antenatal advanced pregnancy like 34 weeks 36 weeks woman coming for any management so in such cases always try to say like how's the baby doing or uh, well, have you named the baby so that is very important you did ask me how is the baby doing later, like uh, breastfeeding and all I did say, but in the initial only because she has just delivered. So how is the baby doing uh, or have you named the baby? This is a, a very good way to begin. Hello? Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah. And also because it's a sexual intercourse, so you need to ask her previous sexual experience. You asked about the sexual transfer infection, but before uh, this, before her delivery, how was her sexual experience? Whether she had similar pain before or not? Because if there was similar pain, then you have to rule out other medical causes like endometriosis and all that. Then she has already has a pre-existing disorder, right? Yes, your station was okay. It is like uh, definitely postpartum dyspareunia. Those are the like psychosexual counseling. All these are required. But you need to ask a history like, if, did you suffer from this uh, similar experience before your baby was born? Okay. That is something you need to ask. Rest, all of it you have asked. But here, uh, here everything you have finished asking, support groups you have asked, you have asked regarding the patient details, patient confirmations. You have asked her fears, you have supported her, you have referred to a psychosexual counselor, her and her husband. Here you need, you did uh, tell that you and your husband would be uh, sent. Always encourage the husband to participate in next visit. And the next would, in the next visit, your consultant will see you regarding your further progress. Just mention one line. You did say you will go for a multidisciplinary management, multidisciplinary team, but also the consultant, you will meet our consultant in the next visit regarding our uh, progress. Okay, so that's how you should build up in the last few seconds. Rest all you have said. Fenton surgery you said in the last. Uh, one more thing with Fentons, you need to make her aware that this is the last resort. But with Fenton, because again we are cutting, so it may not be definitive treatment. That you need to make her aware because we are again giving a scar, right? So Fentons, we are uh, removing uh, the scar, previous scar, but again another scar might form and that can be a problem. So that you need to always say when you explain Fenton's procedure. Okay, ma'am. Okay. And before that, dilators, did you mention? You mentioned about topical application, perineal massage and all. Dilators, did you mention? No, ma'am. <coughs> so you can ask, like you can self-use of dilators or you can ask your husband. So that way, initially touching, cuddling, then you can use the dilators initially and then start your intimacy. That you can explain. Like, not explain, just touch upon when you have time. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. So you did the station very well. It was all done. Everything you have practiced a lot. So best wishes for your uh, uh, booking of your tickets. Hopefully you get that because for November you are very well prepared. Ma'am, uh, they have sent, but they only sent that UK center. I don't know why they, they haven't given any of uh, this. Just now only I'll get that mail. Uh, but there is no in, uh, center in the India. Only UK center have they given. I don't know why. No, no, the, the, uh, there is no, the, the dates you see, the dates in Kolkata and De Mumbai, it is 6, 7. But uh, nobody get that uh, mail. I don't know by mistake they have sent or what. Yeah, that can be just wait for tonight, no? Because 31st is the opening or you can send a mail. Just okay. send a mail to exams.org that I have got a mail for uh, UK seat. So they will reply definitely in the tomorrow morning hours, during their office hours, no? Whenever there's a confusion regarding this, just send a mail. They will revert back. So you did finish your details of pregnancy. Yes, the type of delivery. Uh, you need to say that I will go through your operative notes as well. Your mode of delivery. Baby weight here, you didn't ask. How is, the, how is your baby? Baby weight. Like she can be, baby can be normally delivered, no operative delivery, but the baby weight can be more. Her tear might have been more. She is not aware. So her, uh, I will uh, go through your uh, notes of delivery from the midwife. I'll take it and go through it. That you just mentioned. Yes, you have uh, potentially, you have uh, explored her fear for penetrative sexual intercourse. Communication, you did very well. Introduced yourself need for examination, damage, uh, you explored her possible causes, trauma from, you asked her birthing experience, but those baby weight, small things, just you need to answer. You counseled, uh, just encourage that you can uh, uh, involve your husband in your next visit or your partner in your next visit. That would be better for both of you for your counseling. You did say about psychosexual counseling with the husband. Just mentioned in the next visit, you can encourage your husband. You both, if you come, then it will be better. 
uh, then again, uh, you have fear of judgment, you have removed fear of another vaginal. This is where another vaginal tear, that Fenton's procedure, you need to, like I said, again, another surgery. So you have to say, yes, uh, it may not be definitive. There is another surgery where sometimes it heals the previous scar. But sometimes, because it is again another surgery, there might be another scar and it might create a problem. So before that, all these, you can use lubricants, jelly, or use, use the thumb with vitamin E oil or oiling, massaging the area. Your partner can learn the procedure. So those are the, th and dilators. Um, then uh, scarring, this is a clinical knowledge you did explain regarding the scarring. So that is done with the, Station, thank you so much, Dr. Ruchi, for volunteering for these two stations. Best of luck for your exam. So, for our this is we come to our end of our uh, slide. So, this our course starts from 21st of September. It will be a six weeks course. Here, we will include two mock circuits, like 14 stations in a day. Two days we will keep, we were 14, 14, so 28 stations we will do in as a mock. And in the six weeks course, we will do mostly. Uh, the, every week we will have one or two sessions which will deal with all the modules separately and uh, you will have repeated practice you can send your videos we will get them analyzed you will get your feedbacks and even if you don't have a study buddy that's why we are here so you can get your study partners at a time convenient for you for all of us all the modules would be covered you will get drive access with the books and the guidelines all in one sorted place so the course fee is this you can uh, the numbers are given you can connect with them or with us directly if you wish to join so best wishes along with this we will also have just random mocks where you can just register only for the mock circuits 14 modules in a go if you wish to so best wishes to all of you we come to the end of our station thank you everyone thank you dr ruchi good night thank you.